Can we do the Charleston White uh, getting beat up thing? We probably shouldn't watch the video, but the, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, well, okay, we can watch it without showing it. Yeah, it, okay. it's, it's nothing. It's nothing foul though. It's, it's yeah, but just basic. on YouTube, like punches in general might oh, okay. get us in a oh, little bit of trouble. My question is like, all right, so this this story came out maybe a month ago. And then now we're finally getting the video, which actually shows an insane amount of self-control from the dudes who had this footage. Because typically, you know, when people film a fight, they're, they're putting posted. that shit out like that day. My question is like, how? Why was there a camera set up on a tripod to film him sleeping, getting a haircut? Unless somebody knew that there was going to be an ass beating. I passed the mic to to Chris since I'm sure he has feelings about this or insider knowledge. Yeah, from Texas. Charleston White from Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? This was pretty much a situation where the the guy who punched him is obviously worthless. You know what I'm saying? He missed the punch. He barely, he skimmed his face, barely. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like you yeah. couldn't even sleep somebody who was asleep. It, it hit different. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? But Charleston White, man, he, he, he talked too much. It's, it, it's bound to happen. Somebody got to get him. Somebody got to get him. Oh, my God. You feel what I'm saying? My, my feeling is that, like, that's a really embarrassing moment when uh, you, you have, like, a clean shot at somebody yeah. in a fight and you still kind of fuck it up. I've been there before where you're, like, you just, you just have this wide open shot and then you just kind of blow it. But he's sleep, though, I'm Like, how can you not hit a sleep, man? <laughs> yeah, that's, but it's an awkward angle because you got to punch man, down. Bro, the yeah. jaw is kind of hidden while his fucking head is, like, sort of pushed forward a little bit i guess i don't know but okay chris does this fill you with any kind of personal joy to see charleston white getting his ass whooped here definitely definitely not he from the hometown for sure oh okay so nah, you're, you're nah, a, nah, a that, supporter yeah i'm finna i'm finna go ahead nah 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 yeah yeah that that guy who hit him he a rat you feel what i'm oh, saying shit. he, uh, he a rat. <laughs> yeah he a rat the guy who hit him he a rat in a in a ghetto foul you feel me he mad because charleston white called him out that's how that go you feel me? And that what what did what did homie do? Eric Cole to do the Nipsey hustle when he called him a rat. Now he want to get all aggressive and prove he's still tough. That's how that go right there. Wait, so you're saying the dude swinging actually was accused of being a rat? Yeah, and the ghetto file. You Is a ghetto file like What's a pedophile, that? but yeah, in the ghetto? It's documented. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, okay. It's documented. It ain't a, a assumption. It ain't. Yeah, it's documented. Oh, Does he shit. work at the barbershop or he just happened to be at the barbershop? The guy. Uh, somebody gave a drop. Oh, okay, on Charleston. Okay. Hey, I see Charleston up here. He was just talking crazy to you online type shit. And then boom, he popped out. This kind of reminds me of when I got jumped in the, in the, um, or punched on, not jumped, I guess, since it was really just one guy, but I was in the nail salon thinking it was sweet. Mm -hmm. But even then you can see he was still trying to be, he was, he didn't want to do it. He didn't really want to do it because mm -hmm. he trying to, he, he trying to get his angles right. He supposed to punch any piece of the yep. face you trying to hit. He trying to make sure he hit him softly on the, on the chin. Like now nah, you supposed to hit. Nah, you supposed to go further across his face. <laughs> you feel reach a little further down, you would have got all nose. He missed. All oh, eyes. He scratched right that. Now, bro. He's like a scratch. <laughs> he missed. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He Chase. fell. He fell short in that move. He was, was supposed weak. to. Charleston yeah, White was supposed to go like this. Short. You had one job. All you had to do was knock the nigga out. A nigga that's sleeping. Out. A nigga that's already <laughs> sleep. <laughs> fuck going on? He was supposed to bob his head right there. He's supposed to go like this. Hit that nigga in the ear. You know, you would think Charleston White at this point would keep his head on a swivel better than what he was. Why you falling Sleeping in barbershops. Oh, he got Chill swiveled. Out, bro. But I mean, this was the first, like this was before the comedy show oh. beating. If anything, it's like the comedy show beating kind of like probably encouraged these people to drop the video that they yeah, had been holding on to it for way. a few weeks at that point. They're like, damn it, we, we, we can't be missing out on so our So was clout. this before the comedy show or after? Before. before, before a couple weeks before. beforehand. So that's why Rainwire was making the point of saying he got touched two different times in one month. So now it's like really opening the door for people to feel like this is an opportunity for them to go for. You know, Charleston White, he need to, he need to keep one large man on the payroll near him. You know, just one guy, you know, he can have the blick tucked. Deep, yes, deep in his sorry. pocket, but he need he need one guy with him at Boy, all times. He always act like he got guns as motherfucking self. And knives so. and tables. Yeah, and, uh, he shows all Cal this Prox, shit online, Cal bro. Prox, yeah. uh, what's the update on his arrest from earlier in the week? Uh, he bailed out. Okay. For the animal cruelty, cruelty? charge yeah. or whatever. Okay. But Chris, I think, was making the point yesterday that the, or I, I actually, I think Rainwater was saying the other day, but basically that like the cops 
do not think fondly of Charleston White at this point. So yeah. the idea that he's working with them probably kind of misled, and he thinks in reality, like he, the cops are probably like trying to get this fool locked up. Yeah. So mm. pretty much when he did that interview with Cam Newton, he spoke on some some situations with the police in Fort Worth. So it's different when ain't nobody thinking about mm-hmm. it, ain't nobody looking towards that way. Now you bring in more light to that situation. It's only right that they gonna start red flagging you everywhere, everywhere you go. You say you got them guns, okay? We probably can't knock you off, but let's put these charges on you, take them guns away from you, so some, some one of your people can They'll knock you off. They always come to your house, mm-hmm. want to see some of your guns. They do shit like that, like. Oh, we're just trying to, like, they do weird shit, bro. Police, when they find out, like, you have an arsenal like I got, because that boy got some guns over there. They they always keep their eye on you, bro. They always just, don't ever let them call to your house, get a call to your house. You can call them. They still going to try to find out what's up with you because you got all that shit. Plus, he talks greasy online. Trust got, me, the I, police see that shit. I got reminded the other day because I was re-watching the, the Trap Law Ross Draco the Ruler uh, documentary on yeah. YouTube for like a 45-minute long clip that reminded me of a bunch of fucking details about how that shit went down. And let the record reflect, Draco dropped the Inglewear disc and the next day got pulled over by the cops in an Uber and the cops initially said that they were pulling him over for tinted windows. So you pull over an Uber with tinted windows and then you immediately go to the guy who's sitting in the back. Right. Makes no sense at all. Because obviously the person riding in the fucking Uber does not have any control over the tint on the windows. But to put in perspective, like I feel like L.A. cops, I've never seen L.A. cops come out and acknowledge the fact that they are paying very close attention to social media in in regards to hip hop. But you see something like that and you're like, oh, they are paying attention and they see someone getting a little too rowdy and they know it's going to turn into some shit. And then keep in mind that the cops have done essentially nothing to attempt to solve Draco's murder in general. And Draco is one of the most antagonistic people towards the police throughout L.A. rap history. So, I mean, a lot of times, you know, if you say, hey, fuck Dallas Fort Worth police or whatever, I mean, they're not getting dissed by rappers every day. Mm -hmm. This is probably making it into every fucking group chat within the police department, right? Because they're not like it's, it's one thing if you say fuck LAPD. LAPD used to that. They get to hear that shit every fucking right, day from right. God knows who. But you say yeah. it about a smaller police force or a police force that has the time to care about some shit like mm-hmm. that, and you could definitely get on their shit list real quick. And Dallas Fort Worth is big, bro. Yeah, it's bigger than people think. You True. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but I, less celebrities for them to focus on. Yeah, you know? but yeah. But they don't have that. Even though they're it's big, they don't have that kind of motion or commotion always coming through it like that. So, like you said, yeah. Hits definitely making waves. It's made some splash. I'm sure Hits done went to the Marshalls, nigga, all that shit. Them niggas be tripping. Mm. Them Texas Rangers and all that shit. They really tripping on shit, bro. For real. Yeah, they racist. For sure. (laughs) Boy, like a motherfucker.